Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm sure most of you will be familiar with the machine vise that I bought for the milling machine. And for what I paid for the vise, I really have no complaints about the vise itself. Though one thing that could be improved is the handle. It's a two piece handle that connects to this 12mm hex drive and you can hold it at a right angle for a lot of leverage or you can straighten it out for extra speed. And whilst it does work, it's quite oversized for this size of vise and this size milling machine and it can be pretty awkward to use, especially if you want to move the vise jaws a large distance. Usually I'll end up using a socket in a cordless drill if I need to move the jaws a large distance, but I don't have it set up like this all the time. However, a socket is a good starting point for a speed handle. So the first thing I did was I went out and bought an inexpensive 12mm socket that will fit on the shaft. This one here was about 5 bucks, and I'm not sure how good a $5 socket is, but for what I need it for, this one will be fine. My plan is to press fit the socket into this 40mm piece of steel. The first thing that I'll need to do is cut off the front of the socket. I've gone back to the old pulley ratio on the lathe, so ultimately it was way too fast for parsing, so I'll finish it off with the hacksaw. With the socket done, I'll now clean up the steel and then I'll bore out a hole for a press fit. And that fits on quite nicely. There's a bit of rust on the steel, which I'll clean up using the Scotch Bright wheel. The next thing I need to do is cut a chamfer on the part, so I'll swap back to the old cross slide with the compound.
Now the next thing I need to do is drill three holes into these chamfered surfaces and naturally a 50 degree angle block would be really useful here, except I don't have one. As a temporary solution, I made a quick substitute from an offcut of aluminium. I don't need it to be super accurate, so this will work. With the first hole done, I'll turn the part 120 degrees and I'll drill another hole. With three holes drilled, I'll now cut some half inch steel rod to length. The rods will now seat in the holes and then I'll go ahead and weld them in place. Now because the base hub is made from a free machining steel, what I'll do here is I'll tack them in place and when I get the chance, I'll get my friend to braze them in place using some silver solder or some brazing rods. Because this is a non-leaded machining steel, I found the tacks to be holding up quite well, but ultimately this is going to be a temporary hold until I can get some brazing rods and braze it in. With the handle almost done, I'll go ahead and make up some balls for the end.
And with that, that is the speed handle done. Not only am I happy with how it looks, but I'm really happy with how it works. It's very comfortable to use, it's a good balance between speed and leverage, and it doesn't get in the way of the hand wheels. It's definitely an upgrade that I should have done a long time ago. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, see you next time.